Hey everyone, Dave here. Just thought I'd make a quick video of the uh, initial results from my tablet install in my 2008 Corvette. So I'm already sitting in it here, as you can see. Uh, I'm just going to give it a quick power on to accessory. Stereo comes on automatically. I've got that set up through uh, an app called Tasker, which a lot of you have probably heard of if you've dealt with Android at all. Uh, let me get into that really quick. I can go straight into it for you. So I'm not going to ex explain the actual Tasker app. I'll let you guys do that on your own. But basically it lets you do, uh, it automatically performs certain things on your tablet based off of certain actions. Like for example, I have a profile set up to where whenever the tablet detects that it's plugged in or has power, it executes this power on task. Within the power on task, I have several things set to happen. It sets the brightness all the way up. It uh, sets the display timeout to 30 seconds. And it sets stay on so that the, uh, the screen never actually uh, shuts off. Uh, the display timeout just uh, makes it uh, dim, as you see actually right there, after it has been touched for a second, which I actually prefer. But it never actually turns off and also it tells Wi-Fi to turn on, Bluetooth to turn on, uh, automatically sets the media volume to level 6 and toggles the pause button on the media so if you turn it off with music playing it'll pause it and then when you turn it back on again it'll start playing from where it left off. Very similar when the power gets turned off basically the opposite happens. Display timeout sets to 7 seconds Brightness uh, gets set to 150, uh, pauses the music, turns Wi-Fi off, turns Bluetooth off. So I'm sitting in the vet, power's turned off, so I give it power on to accessory. The stereo will automatically turn on. automatically starts playing music at volume level 6 and turn that down a little bit uh, we'll see oh, I've got messages too this is actually hooked up through my cell phone's Wi-Fi hotspot so it has internet access right now so the little sound that you just heard was that I got an email I get all those kind of notifications just like any tablet would it's just installed in the car so I also have a widget here um, my media player of choice is an app called player pro it's, I think, a $5 app. I, I much prefer it uh, because I like its front screen widget, which is kind of hard to see through this video because of reflections, so I apologize for that. But it's got a nice big widget. It's got the uh, uh, album art, whatever you're playing. So I, I've also got an on-screen volume control. <laughs> You got the buttons on the left or right to incrementally increase or decrease the volume, or you can just control your volume. So I really like this on-screen volume. Obviously, I don't have I don't have access to the volume buttons, so I have to control the volume on screen somehow. Right now, I'm working on steering wheel controls. Uh, I haven't fully figured that one out yet. I've got some ideas of how to integrate steering wheel controls. I'm just not finished with it yet. Uh, I'll make a separate video if and when I get that done. But uh, so yeah, on accessory or when the car starts, it'll play the music automatically. I like how it dims automatically if you, uh, if you don't touch it for a while. It comes back as soon as you want to do something with it. Uh, give you a quick look at the actual player pro full screen you still have your control of volume over here within player pro which is another thing I like about it a lot of uh, a lot of players don't have volume controls within the app because they assume that you have access to your volume buttons which I don't so that was another reason I like player pro uh, go back I have all my media stored on a 64 gig micro SD card so you can you know look at 
it's pretty similar to any other app that you look at. And you got all your albums. Um, you look at all your artists. Playlists, if you have them set up. Another thing I like about Player Pro, I know a lot of other apps have it as well. I don't have any playlists set up yet because I just got this done, but it's got some pre-done ones there. Most played, recently played, things like that. And what you can do is you can actually set a widget to uh, correspond to any playlist you want. Like this is recently added. So if I press that, it'll automatically start playing that playlist, which is a cool feature that I know Player Pro isn't the only one that has it, but it's there, so it's nice. So anyways, so you know, we're playing music. And as soon as I turn the car off, it should work. It works just like a regular stereo would. I have the ignition switch sent through a relay to send power to the tablet. So it will continue to play just like a stereo would until I open the door. So as soon as I open the door, the music turns off. And the screen turns off. It's got a three second timeout. Or seven seconds, excuse me. So everything's set up automatically. So again, I'll show you one more time. Turn it on. And give it just a second, and it'll start playing again from where it left off. I also have other music, you know, apps on here, your standard ones you've got. Pause this. We got Pandora. I don't know if I've actually logged into this yet. No, I haven't. So you guys know Pandora. I don't need to demo it for you, but it's there. Uh, I I like to use Google Play a lot. I'm a big Google fan, hence the Android and everything. Uh, this is actually my online library. Uh, you can upload 20,000 songs to your Google Play account for free, which is kind of nice. And this is the uh, the app that comes with it. Kind of similar to the Player Pro. Uh, one thing I don't like about this is it doesn't have volume controls inside the app. Uh, one of the Corvette Forum members uh, suggested a volume app that actually uh, will float over the top of anything you're doing, which is kind of nice. I might look into that. But for now, I have to go back to the home screen to control. To control the volume, which it's another button press, which is kind of inconvenient. That's why I like to use uh, Player Pro, Google Play. I, I don't really like its widgets; uh, they don't work very well, or they're they're not very uh, big, hard to see if, if you're using the tablet as your stereo so I prefer player pro for now we'll see what uh, Google does to a, to uh, make their widgets better in the future maybe they'll come out with an update or something uh, that's all I've got so far uh, another thing I've got installed is an external mic um, right here uh, that might not be the the permanent location. I keep bumping it with my knee. It's not a very optimal location, but it came with a clip, and so I just put it there for now. Uh, but with I have Cyanogen Mod 10 custom ROM installed on this tablet. Um, for those of you that don't know what that is, just do a quick Google search on it. I won't bother explaining it. But it's basically a custom ROM that is Jelly Bean 4.1 uh, Android OS. So it does come with Google Now, which is nice. That's most of the reason I set up this external mic is because now, you know, if I'm listening to music, I can hit this search button and I can get directions. I can ask about sports scores, you know, and anybody that doesn't know more about Google now, you can also look that up yourself. It's pretty cool. Uh, unfortunately, I just watched the Patriots beat the Broncos yesterday, but let's pretend I didn't watch that and see if I wanted to see the score. What was the score of the Broncos game? So it'll do that for you automatically. 
which is nice. It's also really good for, for maps. Let's give a quick demo on, uh, let's see. Directions to the nearest Burger King. Getting directions. It's kind of hard to see. So it'll automatically give you driving directions, uh, turn by turn. So you know, if you, if you want to. If you want a Burger King, you can go get the nearest Burger King based off of a voice search, which is nice. Um, I have the, uh, let me turn that down a little bit. I, uh, I have the B&B Bullets uh, exhaust installed on this car, so it's actually quite loud driving down the road. But this external mic that I got is, uh, it says it's noise canceling. I don't know how good it actually is, but I've tested it driving down the road. And it works pretty good. I have to speak up a bit, but uh, I don't have to scream at it. And it still gets uh, it still gets the commands. Like for example, I was coming back from Best Buy, and I wanted to know the uh, score of the Notre Dame game, and I was able to use that, you know, at 70 miles an hour on the interstate uh, RPMs, you know, around 1800. So I was droning pretty good, but uh, it still recognized my voice and showed me the score of the game, which was nice. And I don't have to pause or play the uh, the audio either. It'll do that automatically for me because it detects that I'm trying to speak to it. So it pauses it temporarily and then turns the music back on once I'm done with the command.